you. Hey guys, what's up? Nick here from Top Motions and welcome to this brand new tutorial. Today, we're going to take a look on setting up our lights into After Effects for our 3D objects which we imported from Element 3D and stuff like that. Now, lights play a very important role in 3D objects to make it give some type of life, you know, because most of the time the power of lights are underestimated because people think that adding some default lights can make the object look good but adding some manual lighting makes your object looks a pretty realistic and pretty good so here i have a example right over here so now i've had some basic lighting setups and you can see it looks pretty good now i'll just first show you without lights how it looks without light setup you can see it looks pretty dull non-realistic but by adding some basic light setup, you can see we can make it look so pretty cool. Now I have one more like example right over here. This is with lights and let's just see how it looks without lights. So you can see it looks good, you know, but not that good. So by adding some lights, you can see it gives a like a little bit of, you know, reflections, adding some backlights. If you can see this line over here, this is the backlight I've added. So I'll show you how to create or set up some basic lights for it. So first of all, I'll just delete this lights. Delete it. Now we we can start from the scratch. So this I have a simple background picture right over here. This is an elementary model which I imported from elementary. You can go out and check it out how to use it and import your model in it. So we're just gonna talk about lights actually. Yeah. So. Let's just add, first of all, I always like to add a light which is a parallel light. Now, what is a parallel light? First of all, I'll just tell you in a minute, but first of all, let's choose a color. So now I'm going to choose the color from the background itself, you know. So maybe I'll just choose, um, let's maybe I'll choose this color, intensity 200, the one shadows and okay. So what is a parallel light a parallel light is actually very different from spotlights or point light because it has a point actually but what it does it it generates light from like it's a wall of light which generates infinite source of light and you can light up your object by setting up parallel lights in any direction you just need to work on this point right over here you can see by dragging this point, you can see out or up. I can just light any part of my 3D objects. You can see right over here. So I'm going to light up the right side because you can see we have some lights going on right here. So obviously it's going to reflect our object from the right side itself. Then I'm going to go right click, go to new, go to light and I'm going to set up another parallel light but from the left side. So you can see in the left side there is a bluish color which will obviously refle reflect our object. So I hit an OK. And as you can see it doesn't matter where we keep the parallel light. What matters is where the point of parallel light is. So I can just go right here and you can see as I move further it starts to affect our 3D object, so I'm gonna keep it maybe right over here. Hit AA to bring down the properties, and I'm gonna change the intensity to maybe 100. Yep, looks good. Now, our object is looking pretty good actually, but what I need is I also wanna create some backlight or key light, you can see. So I'm gonna go to new, solid, oh, I'm sorry, new light and for creating a backlight let's just create an ambient ambient light and i'm going to select the color maybe mm, let's see this color looks good okay and i'm gonna decrease this to very low maybe 10 percent or so now if you notice you won't notice it pretty quickly what an ambient light does but if i just turn off this light you can see ambient light actually affects the shadow of our object you can see right here 
so maybe I'll just put this to about 5% okay it's a little bit of difference but this difference can sometimes maybe a huge difference in your projects okay good pretty good then go to new light and this is light last light I'm gonna add it I'm gonna make it parallel light okay and this time I'm gonna affect actually the the edges of our you know of our object you can see it affects the edges so I'm gonna put it maybe let's see I'm gonna affect this edge right over here looks good so now we have created a backlight if you can see right here which looks pretty good and makes the object looks more realistic so this is how our object was before lighting and this is how it looks after lighting looks pretty good and pretty realistic actually you can see it looks pretty good if you don't want to you know like move the lights along with the object because we are moving the camera so the lights also move so you can go to the element 3d and you have the rotation properties and you can always rotate it you see we still have the backlight we still have the basic lighting setup this is a very basic lighting setup but this can sometime make some huge difference in your project so let's just hop in to our next example and you can see I'll just delete this right so this is with some basic lights so in this I'm gonna do the same thing almost the same thing actually so I'm gonna choose the color now choosing the color is very important cause that's how the light will affect your product so in this I'm gonna choose the red color or the reflection you can see right here and I'm gonna hit on ok ok you select this and oops, sorry for that I'm just gonna log this a quick set light and you can see as I move it it starts to affect the various parts of our can right there so I'm gonna use this like I want the reflection to come this time from the right side so I'll just put it right over here looks good create a new light parallel light okay I'm gonna choose the same color or oh, let's just make this a little bit whiter hit okay and this time I'm gonna choose it now it doesn't matter where our parallel light is or so we are gonna just adjust the point of interest actually. so I'm gonna create this as a backlight so let's just move it a little bit right over here and okay maybe let's go to right over here looks pretty good then let's just create a backlight so we the new solid oh sorry new light and I'm gonna select the color and I'm gonna make it white I'm going to make this as a backlight so maybe I'll just put it right over let's see maybe right over there maybe it looks good you can see how it's affecting our can so we'll just make it a little bit closer maybe yep and bring down the intensity to maybe that's a 150 or oh, maybe 100 yep looks good and there we go we have this cool lighting setup it looks pretty basic but it's very important when you're working with some 3d objects and any software maybe Maya Cinema 4D 3ds Mac doesn't matter because lightning affects your 3d models in various ways this was a pretty basic tutorial for your lightning and I hope you have learned something new. So you can see we have created make a simple object which was looking something like this before. Very dull with no lightning and with lighting it looks pretty realistic you know. So I hope you have learned something new today. If you haven't or if you have just comment below and let me know and thanks for watching guys.